This wig is so pretty. Now, I don't have the combs in yet and just with straps, not even adjusted right now. But, oh my gosh. And I still have the lace on. This is so pretty. Like, look at those curls flipping back. And I always wanted a wig that does that. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. And the hair is so soft. Um... But yeah, and this is my third wig from Sensational, the Empress custom wig line. I had French Wave and I had Yaki 30. But oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And it's long too. Oh my god, I don't know if I can bring this down, but it's long. Like, look at that. It's right there. Oh. Oh my gosh, and I was planning to like wait to wear this wig when it gets cold, like October, like the middle of October, like Halloween, but I think I'm going to wear this next Monday, you know, I, I think I'm going to wear this, and I have a presentation next Monday, so I'm going to give the people what they want, give them looks, and my outfit is going to be on fleek, I wish it was cold like next week, like I want it to be cold already, because it's kind of like hot wear wig, but Ooh. It's kind of hard to wear a wig, but I'm like, okay, I'll just die from heat exhaustion by looking cute, you know? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at that. Here's the part. Look at that parting. And I need to cut the lace off. Honey, I don't feel like cutting the lace off. I'm just st sticking in there. This is cute. I think I'm going to get the, um, the perm, is the perm rant? Well, perm romance. I'm going to get that wig as well. This is cute. Oh my gosh. Like, this is cute. Like, look at those curls going back. Now, I kind of wish the whole wig was curled back, so that's why I'm going to get Perm Romance, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Because I kind of like the, the hair out of my face in front, but this is cute. This is fall hair. I say that every time I get a wig. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cute. Alright, I'm going to cut the lace off. Um, I probably put some powder in there. I probably won't. Because it looks pretty good to me. Probably would tweeze it a little bit, but I probably won't. Probably like later on. But this is cute, you guys. Slay, honey. Slay. And I don't have no makeup on. So if I have some makeup on and then my lashes, I'll be giving it to them. <laughs> This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And I have the color is A number two. This is cute. This is cute. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm coming back with the lace off and yeah, probably just that. Okay, so I cut the lace. I cut the lace off the wig already, so it's off. Um I'm going to put some foundation under the parting. Um, I don't like it when I do it up top. Sometimes I do it up top. And sometimes um, I I don't. So I'm using my um, Black Radiance 
foundation in shade cashmere. Sometimes I use shade brownie, but I'm gonna use cashmere. And I'm just gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna let this foundation like dry like right now. And I, I'm gonna probably tweeze it. You got work to do, but you doing over here. So I probably tweeze it eventually, like I always do. But tweezing actually takes time and patience and yeah. So I, I probably won't tweeze today in this video. Bringing it out. So I probably don't have to tweeze because the foundation is in there. And this is not my hand, you guys. Like both of my fingers are over here. So it's nothing but foundation. So I probably don't have to tweeze. Um, don't tweeze too much. Sometimes it causes shedding and it makes your part look too wide. So I'm just going to put that foundation there. And that's how it looks. So I'm going to wait a couple seconds. And I'm going to put this back on my head. Make sure when you guys cut your wig, make sure you don't um, cut too close to the lace. Um, the wig lace is kind of like soft, so it will kind of like roll up. So you don't want your hair to roll up because plenty of my wigs did that before. Except for the ones that I did not cut too close to the lace because you thought... You thought you was going to cut it right there, so you went it. No, don't do that. It's going to do that eventually. So, I probably need to flatten my top. Now, I just literally just put a cap over my head, over my afro, so it's not flat as it should be, that it could be. So, I'm just making sure you guys are um, aware of that because it's not, my hair's not flat underneath. It's like an afro underneath here. So, when I wear this... It's going to be jigged down. And I probably will do a video of how I lay my natural hair under my wigs. And how I take care of my hair under my wigs. So, it's kind of humpy dumpty right here. Um, but it's okay. Um, it's because of my hair. Because, yeah, it's my hair. Um, so, you guys, this is what it looks like. I need a brush. But this is what it looks like. It's super cute. I don't want a deep side bang, but this is what it looks like. And let me switch it over. Okay. And with this wig, when it says free party, I think it's free party or multiple parting options, it actually means you can change your wig from whatever side. So this is this side. Could be flatter if my hair is flat, and I have my part right here. So I'm going to change it from the middle to the middle. Now, when you guys are doing the middle part, make sure your hair is flat, and my hair is not flat. So I'm not working this wig to the best of my ability. And there's a the lace. I told you it like curls up. But it's not as flat, so don't judge me. So if my hair's flat, it will look a lot better. But this is how it look if you had it to the middle. Well, kind of to the middle. So it has that Kim K kind of bang. Okay? And you just flatten this up too. And you can just use some setting lotion to like lay the flyaways. on Instagram if you guys want to see how I style this wig because it's going to be in different styles so this is this side this is the left side and you can do a deep part deep side part so this is what it looks like video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll touch you guys later and I will probably do a one month review because I like to see that with wigs and stuff like that and yeah, bye.